first time since I closed my wellness center that white shell woman and white buffalo woman choose to come forward. So I am thrilled because I thought they were done doing like public presentation work with me. Um, I know I'm so happy. Uh, they, um, they did the closing of my wellness center uh, the last day of June, 2017. We did a, um, a cord cutting ceremony. And this was, um, it, it was so beautiful. Everyone came and everyone had a personal experience for cord cutting, but we also did like a global cord cutting healing. And as well, they took like all the energy of the wellness center and cut it. And then they compacted it and put it in my heart to carry that healing energy forward. So now wherever I go, when I'm traveling, wherever I present, that energy opens up through my heart. And um, it, it's, for me, it's very powerful. Um, and so they've been with me, you know, they're with me every day. They're my teachers, but it's nice that they're coming back for you. I'm very excited. Uh, tonight, um, first white shell woman will come through and do a white light energy healing meditation to help everyone bring pure healing energy into ourselves. And then she'll like hand the baton to white Buffalo woman who will take us to a place of um, profound healing and a place where we can connect with whatever is best for us to connect with. Um, I have no idea what's going to happen because I'm not really going to be here. So I wanted to, they're, they're like, they're like, you don't even need to know. You'll just gum up the works. You'll get in the way. They like to tease me. But um, they did want me to say in advance um, for those of you who have been working with me for a while now, um, anyone who enjoyed White Shell Woman and White Buffalo Woman in the past, either at my wellness center or on my YouTube channel, um, you're already connected with them. So just feel welcome to open up and they are ready to like flow great love into you. White Shell Woman wants to do um, white light energy healing today. And I asked her like, are you sure we don't want to do, you know, like um, indigo light or, you know, a different frequency? And she's like, no, white. Because every single um, color connects with um, uh, dimensions and frequencies and vibrations that every single color actually connects with dimensions. And the way those dimensions show themselves here is through the visual color. But as we know, there's more to color than just what you see. There's a reason why certain colors are always associated with certain emotions or um, energies. And, um, and white light, I mean, that's why our auras emanate, you know, are shown as colors. That's the frequency that's associated with the visual stimuli of that energy. So um, the white light is about cleansing and purifying. And it's um, a direct divine connection. Not necessarily divine to God, it's to whatever you call divine. If you believe of science as your divinity, it's an energy, a frequency that connects you to that. If you, you know, and it doesn't matter also what you believe, it's what your heart is ready to connect with. So um, if you open up and you're like, my heart's ready to receive whatever white light brings in, you might find yourself surrounded by angels, you might find yourself surrounded by clarity of thought, um, by a comforting, relaxing feeling in your heart, whatever it is, that's your divinity for the moment that you're ready to receive. Uh, it doesn't negate or void all other divinities. That's just the one that your, your core being receives with white for now at this moment.
So um, we're going to cleanse and purify ourselves, and then we'll be taken to a place of healing. Uh, because the healing energy, you know, you got to release before you can absorb. So, um, yeah, they're telling me I'm chattering too much. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, for those of you who have, um, like attended my spoon bending classes, you know, and here are some examples of spoons that I've bent. Um, and I'm going to be making, uh, I have, of course, one video on YouTube. We're going to do um, a bunch more that are like short, like little five minutes or less. You know, the point of spoon bending is not that you're bending a spoon although that's fun, it's that you are defining physical reality to be as you wish it to be. I use spoon bending as a great like technical exercise to help me with my manifestation, with my creating the reality that I wish to have. And when you see like, oh, wow, when I let the energy flow through me this way and I send it to this object, the object becomes different. You know, this is like, this is a really tight spoon. And look at that like tight little curly cue. Like this is, you know, and look what I did to the bowl here. It's all flat and wide. This was once like a teaspoon and now it's, you know, my favorite little spoon. Um, it's not that I'm doing the impossible. It's that we, each of us, limit ourselves and we tell ourselves that here we are inside our little box and this is reality. But when we get out of the box, we're like, oh, there's so much more to reality that we can tap into. So spoon bending or small object levitation you know, uh, or using any of your clairs, if you're a really good empath, or you naturally read thoughts, or you can see energy, whatever it is, these are great doorways into connecting with all the more that's out there. So today, with our meditation, our channeled meditation, we will be connecting with more that's out there and invite it to come in, invite it to come in and just be whatever, you know, you can have. Just the more you receive, the better. You can get in your head later to analyze it if you want. I pretty much don't. Tonight is special because we have the last full moon of the year. There's also the meteor shower going on, um, the Pleiades. And, um, Yeah, there's a lot of wonderful, powerful cosmic energy happening at the moment. So we're going to see what we can tap into. And um, think about what you want to manifest. Think about what will bring joy into your heart and what will, you know, make your soul smile. And then we'll start inviting that in. So lovely. Um, I'm going to check out now and let White Shell Woman come in. So, okay. I think this is my first time channeling White Shell Woman and White Buffalo Woman on a, a live stream. So. better. Okay. A little more grounded when I sit cross-legged. <laughs> 